drier air, but the upper pattern is going to be key into whatever Fiona ends up doing in the near future. Well, I should say longer term weekend early next week. Here's what it's doing right now. Wind shear dry air still plaguing the storm. With that said, it is able to find this pocket of moisture and really build off of that, which is where you see all the thunderstorms. The strongest winds are not near the center. Hurricane hunters are currently investigating and they're not finding the winds near the center. It's actually exposed because of the wind shear and and dry air. So at the moment it is struggling. Now the thunderstorm development is still able to go, but uh, trying to condense itself near that center really is not happening. And that's why you see the strength being held steady from the National Hurricane Center. Over the next couple of days, we're expecting that general westerly turn so or westerly motion. So don't expect any big changes in the next couple of days. It won't really be until the end of the weekend and start of next week that it begins that turn more toward the north by about the time it reaches Hispaniola. So by the time as we get into the weekend and it's just the south or right around Puerto Rico, still moving west. So don't let that uh, fool you because that turn is still anticipated. Why? It's a break in the upper ridging. Looks like it's going to kind of follow along. Big ridge of high pressure will be centered off in the Atlantic. We'll have the one that's centered over us. There will be a break in between and it looks like this storm is going to get turned into that break. Now, these storms kind of follow the weaknesses in the atmosphere path of least resistance. There are still a couple of outlier models that do try and make its way toward the Gulf, but there are only a few of those. The great consensus of the models is turning up toward the east coast of the United States or even farther away from the east coast. The dry air, though, is going to plague the storm for its foreseeable future. There's that pocket of moisture in the mid levels that it's able to work off of, but the dry air surrounding it means it is moving into and will continue through a rather hostile environment. Not only the dry air, but wind shear, where you see the reds to purples. That is strong wind shear, and that too is going to plague the storm. So it may be that that center is never really able to concentrate the storms around it. So if that is the case, it should remain a fairly weak storm. Still a tropical storm, but still a weaker storm in its future, at least over the next five days. That turn should occur during the weekend. For us, though, we'll be just watching for a few more 